we've been working hard to uh, be ready for our first human, and obviously be, we want to be extremely careful uh, and certain that that it will work well before putting a device in a human. But we're we've submitted, I think, most of our paperwork to the FDA, and we're, we're we think probably in about six months we should be able to have our first neural link in a human. So. So for our, the first two applications we're going to aim for in humans um, are restoring uh, vision. And uh, the, I think this is like notable in that even if someone has never had vision ever, like they were born blind, uh, we're, we believe they can, they, they can, we can still restore vision. Um, so uh, because the, the visual part of the, the visual part of the cortex is still, still there. Um, so. Uh, yeah, even, even if they've never seen before, uh, we're, we're confident that they, they could they could see. Um, and then the uh, the other application being in the motor cortex, uh, where we would initially enable someone who uh, has no ability, to, or almost no ability to operate their their muscles. You know, sort of like a sort of Stephen Hawking type situation and um, enable them to operate their phone faster than someone who has ha working hands. Uh, so, uh, I mean, as miraculous as it may sound, uh, we're confident that it is possible to restore full body functionality to someone who has a severed spinal cord. So, yeah. <laughs> and um, here you can see uh, Sake, that's one of our other monkeys, uh, typing on a keyboard. But now he's, it, this is telepathic typing. So to be clear, this is the, the he's, he's not actually using a keyboard. He's moving a, a, the cursor with his mind uh, to the highlighted key. It's also important to show that um, Sake actually likes doing the demo um, and is not like strapped to the chair or anything. So uh, it, it, it's, uh, yeah, so um, the monkeys actually enjoy doing the demos because they, and, and they get the banana smoothie and it's kind of a fun game.